Ooh, there it is. All right, let's push spacebar and open the book. Dear reader. Hello. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Hello, book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Well, thanks, book. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about nice. change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh, there he goes. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. All right. That's how you start a game. Let's mosey on up here and hit spacebar. Uh, hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew you'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. After I banged on your door till your... Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond, and climbed with the treehouse, and then I find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone, too. Oh, man. She's not gone. She's just... Missing? Sorry, I meant to say since she was missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh. I'm... Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Now we can go on. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How was that? Solo looked to the side suspiciously. Hmm. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need this to be in a, need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you gonna tell tell her? I don't know. I think I'll something. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? I do. It was like two seconds ago. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh, you tease me. All right. How's that book talking? The same way this little critter's is walking around. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Oh, Grandma. One of his father's old stethoscopes, 
Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Ah, excellent. There better be one sitting in that chair in front of that fire. There you go, Raggeth. <laughs> Let me just slide off of here. Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. What else we got over here? Just some dusty knickknacks. Just some dusty knickknacks. Uh, well, let's go upstairs. Grandma? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Man, this is sad. Grant really had sad. commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Oh, excellent. Charm Meister, they call me. Grant's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. And I wish a chill still hung in the air around here. It's dang hot around here. Chill, yeah. It's not even the first Grand's day Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. No burns. We're a cute little uh, fawn. Okay, let's go in here. Grandma? Don't tell me. If Grandma's missing, I quit. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Hmm, the junk drawer. We all have one of those. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Ah, oh, we shouldn't, do, shouldn't leave that on. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Yeah, grandmas do that. Something's gone wrong in here, in there. Huh? Is that peach growing another peach? Well, I don't know what I expected. Okay. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I'm excited. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. You can use the various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. Excellent. This is no small thing. So step forth, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. <laughs> Where's my autosave? <laughs> Let's bounce around over here. What do you want me to do with them? Look at all them. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Oh, Grandma, you're no beginner. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, uh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. Mm hmm. We're just gonna go. We're gonna go hide for the day. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. No, I'm honest with my grandma. I guess Rolo bets some other kids we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? Listen here, grandma. 
Well, like there's not much uh, there's much else to do around here. Make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Excellent. That is the power of charms. Step one, lie to grandma. A simple word we did can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, here's our save point. This conversation with Gran seems innocent enough, the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. A grand journey. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ponder for the day, Grandma. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys gonna go ponder on such a lovely day, exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Uh, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Make sure you don't overburden yourself with preponderance of pondering. A preponderance of pondering. What? Forget it. Off with you now. Grandma rolled poorly on initiative. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, to cool off a little bit. There we go. Can I eat that bread? Mm, I could go for some. I could go for some bread. Oh, oh, no, oh, a little lost here. Let's go out this way. <laughs> hey, Jeff, how's it going? We gotta go find our buddy. Uh, I don't know where he's at. We'll go this way. Uh, come on, come on. Woo. Or, woo. Dang, Rolo. Chapter 2. I need a button that allows me to, because every, every sentence I have to hit press Welcome spacebar. to Beacon Pines. I'd like it to just read. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. That explains it. Strange fertilizer turned the animals into sentient beings. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the three years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Okay. Well, let's go. He said by the welcome sign. Where is he? For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. I like your bow tie. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Exciting for the big festival? Uh, sure. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty all right. You gosh dang right it is. <laughs> I've been so busy these days. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Sure and invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. First rate. Sorry, Luke, I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. I look forward to seeing you at the festival, pal. I'll do my best. Ho now. The left side's a little low. town's hidden secret is that they turn the residents into fertilizer. <laughs> you can't say this. This is such a peaceful, relaxing, chill game. You can't say things like that. Sorry, Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. I'm very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Oh, liar. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I... Mayor Valen... Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Give up the good work. I'm brief, I must briefly attend a cons to a concerned citizen. Uh -huh. Alright, what can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Uh, just saying hi, I guess. Good day to you, too, young Mr. Van Horn. Off you go, then. 
Man, he's trying to be a friendly kid. Uh, hello, buddy. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. You want a dad joke, do ya? Alright, I'll get you a dad joke. So, um... Uh, what... <laughs> this is, this is relevant. Uh, what does the, uh, what does the hippie polygamist... Sorry, how, how does the hippie polygamist count his wives? One Mrs. Hippie, two Mrs. Hippie, three Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sorry, that was, that was too good at me. I could almost couldn't get it out. It was so, so hilarious. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. I'm proud of that one. I didn't make it up, but I'm proud of my ability to find it. Yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? That was first-rate. passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Ooh, yeah, lounge around. Chill! No. Work-worthy? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, what's this top-secret plan to start our summer? So you know the old abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think of that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. The place has been empty since... Since before the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? But we would, Rolo. We would. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Look, remember that uh, time I uh, sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got your back. Thanks, Rolo. And now that I think about it... Poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend my first day of summer. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Guess we're gonna go... Uh, back the way we came. I knew, I knew I was gonna hear that from you, Burns. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. Where'd he go? I didn't even pay to where he's going. I guess we'll go this way. Uh, hello, Mr. Rhino. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Leggy, I can't. Do it, or we pound you. What? Yep. But my mom said, yeah, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, ye but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. Stay away from him. This is my, oh, there's my buddy right there. I just catch my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. Maybe he's been eating too many Rolos. <laughs> oh man, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll resist until I get another request for him. Um, hey there. You like books? Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Two water down the wooden path. Wooded path, unaware of their danger ahead. Oh, it's getting good. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, Griffin. How's the ice cream gig going? Not great. Still pretty cold out. And I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bert. Hey, Luca. I'm going to do some fat, fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just up here putting up the lights. But did you know, when the town was founded, there was only seven citizens. And they all worked for a mining company. Oh, they're dwarves. 
and there was only one dirt road leading to town. And there still is only one road leading to town. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, look at it. Just the fella I was looking for. Uh, hey, Roxy. Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. Oh, cool, okay. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Excellent. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Oh, well, then. We have only one option means you have no options at all. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Okay. Well, now I'm just rambling. Oh, where okay. were we? Mm -hmm. You see my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, I'm not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? Luca, wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. Oh, Rolo. This is one of our favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. <laughs> what are you doing with that thing with your body? Wait, you're not scared of you. She's not. Wait, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around the corner, isn't she? Don't mind me. Just over here lurking. Uselessly. We accept lurking around here on this channel. So if you want to lurk, you go right ahead. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out of this morning before breakfast. Uh, what, Nugger? Also couldn't help notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic's shrink ray All the more reason to keep on digging. It's gotta be to more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to go, so if you don't mind... Oh, I don't do mind. I'm not, not gonna catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I'll haul you home myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, right. cracking her knuckles. Lurkers make the world go around. Excellent, yes. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with Enrage Rocky was to be a little chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining. We want to take it easy. <laughs> Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. It's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Oh, rats. Expect a full report about Valentine Pilot Place. A full report! All right, so Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? I'll hydrate. Nope. Cool, cool. Oh. Should talk to Mr. Wilder before heading out. He might know something about the warehouse. Oh. All right, who's Mr. Wilder? Is this you? Holden Wilder ran mm -hmm. the local paper mm -hmm. of record. The Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luke. I hope his first name is Gene. Uh, what's the day you have in s What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about news. The Beacon Beacon knows that the news knows the news that needs no one. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh, Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Rolo ought to be careful poking around about the part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Change. Is that the same hydrate or is that a new hydrate? <laughs> I think it's the same one. Mm, mm, mm. Charms. Okay. You think we can go back and do this? No. No. Okay. Ah. I'm still gonna go. Can I go now? Yeah. Hey, Solomon. Apologies for the chit chat. No time for chit chat. Mr. 
Ms. Novak's bookstore was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through the dusty piles of books was one of Luca's favorite ways to kill time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... Uh, I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. I can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. It's great, but I'm actually, uh, I guess Juniper will have to show... Just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Oh, Gran. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Uh, I see if I can, can I, can I change, no, I wonder if there's a way I, I could set it up to where I was like, I didn't hit, keep it in space bar. Let's go this way. Telephone. The phone booth was brand new, part of the town's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Okie doke, up the path. Hmm. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. That's strange. Well, get the honey. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Things are getting spooky. Well, no turn it back now. Uh, caution electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so would Rolo, what would he do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolo would do, mm -hmm. so that he could rule out that option. Definitely not touching that thing. I can pick him and throw him? As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Uh -huh. I throw mushrooms at the light bulbs. That's two. One more to go. <laughs> Just easy. I'm a little deer. I don't have much of an arm. Hey. Oh, this side maybe. There we go. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. So Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on it here? Was only one way to find out. That smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. You have no problems poking around in here. <laughs> the water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Splash around a little bit. Maybe I'll grow a new antler. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. There's a rope going into that. What's going on over here? Mom? Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Oh, whoa, whoa! Family friendly channel! Oh. <laughs> the heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Oh. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. My ankle! Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab into the green light. This is a story about poop. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. 
But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? No, no. It's okay. This is no one's fault. I still believe in you. There is a way through this story. We just have to find it. Oh. Okay, we gotta go find more things. Uh, oh, we can give... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Best way to deal with Roxy. Wait, throw some poo on her? In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Make a break for it! What have you done? <laughs> Did he just kick me? <laughs> what all you want, you little twerps? You gotta come home eventually. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Oh, uh, here I come. Here I come. Um, I need something more. I guess we need. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm sorry. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Too much of his father in him. A real shame. Ah, oh, we got some shame. All right. I win. Little help. I am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here? It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You're really gonna need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Sign always been there. What? Uh, Electric fence is definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around it? I got this, he says. <laughs> Okay, what'd you do that for? Pa always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, now what? To my part, establish that touching defense is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe difference, distance. Well, I got this under control. There's another path over here. What if we go over here? I'll be right back. Yep, I'll be right back. I think I can look at over here. Nope. Alright, I'm back. I think that did it. Luca, you never failed to impress. Well, I feel like I've been here before. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for them for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet, uh, your butt I did. <laughs> Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And the hose. Don't go in there. No, don't do it. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No, no, don't try harder. No dice, no budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong, but I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh well. Dumpster's new, right? I, I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. You sure it isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me in. Rolo. It wouldn't be it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, lady luck. Oh dang. So what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Huh. Hang on, there's more. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Oh, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. These actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command, you coming in five by five? Ah, your vital readouts, Hank. I'm getting a little stuffy here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help's on the way! I found your mother's hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. <gasps> People. Uh oh. Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Is that a body? The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. There's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rulo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude! I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? <laughs> here it comes. Ah! Ah! I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, I'll count to 100. If you hear me, yell, run. If you don't hear me, yell, run. Actually, either way, I'll ass. <laughs> Rolo. Yeah, I'll give you credit. You should find an eventful way to start our summer. What's what I do? Here goes nothing. Luca sat in the Excellent. dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's <laughs> footsteps as he ran. One, two, three... He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Why am I counting? Seventeen? <laughs> why, he why? tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster <laughs> as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo? No sign of the man in the yellow suit. What about the hand? Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Finding a friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Hey, Grandma. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh huh. I don't need to get delivered to town today. Okay. So, what'd you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Uh, nothing interesting. Hello? Calm down. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering folks. I'll be there right there. Uh oh. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Grand's brow furrowed. Oh, stop lying to your grandma. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I have to go take care of something. You stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstances are you to leave. What? If I'm not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But, well, nothing. You just stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it! I stay here till you get back. Good. And you smell like garbage. Luca stood in silent shock. Where could she even be going? That was strange. Um, Grandma's up to something. We gotta go figure it out. Grandma said don't leave, but I don't listen. An eerie electronic sound echoed from Luca's bedroom. Hello? Anyone there? Which one's my bedroom, is it? The... Uh, not this one, is it? This one. My walkie-talkie! Hello? Rollo, is that you? Uh... 
Over. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. Ah, go hide under your bed. Go hide. Go hide. <laughs> Someone's banging on the door. Go hide. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. Uh, well, hey, Roxy. This is about me uh, actually kicking you yesterday. Is Rolo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. What was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around uh, in Weep Wood. Then it was late when he went home. Weep Wood. If he's alive, I'm gonna kill you, that little creep. Anything else? Anything he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. If you can think of anything else that might help, let me know. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rolo? I gotta find him. Go get the walkie. I probably can't get the walkie. Go get the walkie talkie. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. I said that before. Alright, fine. We're just gonna go outside. I'm gonna go ignore my grandma again. Alright. We never went this way. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Um, Grandma will never find me here in town. <laughs> What's up this way? Oh, yeah. Maybe he's over here. Let's just chill. Hmm. How far this demo is? Yeah, I'm curious too. I thought it might end right there once at the at that point. Hey, piggy. Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. Mr. Sinclair. Don't you see me? I'm sleeping, boy. I was napping today. Crummy as always. We used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Alright, Mr. Sinclair. We need to get back to work. Just a couple more minutes. If Roxy said she will be here, then she'll be here. I just don't see why I'm standing around. Doing nothing. Wait for Roxy when I could be standing around doing nothing and getting paid for it. Come on, Lumi. Roxy needs our help. My parents would listen. No offense, but isn't Rolo always getting into trouble? Something feels different this time. What can we do to help? We need to check where the adults aren't. So I guess it's up to us to check Weep Wood. My shift doesn't end for another couple hours. We could spend time making posters. That'd be great. I guess. Right. Fitz and I will check Weep Wood. We'll be back later to pick up posters. My dad has a map of Weep Wood. Let's swing by my house and grab it before we head out. Let's go see them. Let's not go see them. We'll run in the coffee shop here. Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. Let's not get any coffee. I bet you they're at Town Hall. Let's go look at Town Hall. Hey, Don. True about Rolo? Yeah, he didn't come home last night. 
I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increased activity around town. What sort of activity? Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, strange lights. Typical shady stuff. We'll be doing all that and why? Well, I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Perennial Harvest certainly has the resources. Not to mention that the new kid just moved in. Her mom is some sort of scientist at Perennial Harvest. Any idea where they could be? Marilla could be? Best place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where'd you see him last? Weep wood. Right by Valentine's fertilizer. That's where we'll start. I'll check out Weep Wood when my shift ends. I'll do my best work at night. Got it. I'll head that way now. Okay. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never estimate what a great man can do with given time. A bit much, if you ask me. <laughs> Who are you? What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Hey, Mr. Nuncreed works behind... Uh, yeah, yeah, he works weird hours sometimes. Uh, of course he does. How about you? Uh, when do I work? No, uh, what's your name? Luca Van Horn. You new here? Yep, not by choice. Beck's family moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. Sorry, Beck. Looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. He's missing? I guess so. Like, missing, missing? Does that sort of thing happen a lot around here? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. That sucks. Yeah. I should probably get going. Hey, wait up! What? I'm coming with you. What? This is the first interesting thing that happened since I got here. Besides, you look like uh, you could use some help. My name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. Beck has a uh, sinus infection, so he has a thing on his nose. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. And they put boards up. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Green stuff. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. This sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. What does science suggest? Pogo with a stick. Okay. Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. <laughs> Lick it. What the? Cool. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. Okay. So the science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. Hey, Tish. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, yep. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Uh, I don't say things like that. It hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. He looks fine to me. Well, hello. I don't think we've been properly introduced. <laughs> Iggy's the name. They're really going in town on that, uh, on that piano. This is my compatriot, Tish. Yeah, yep. Probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I forgive you just this once, on account of you being around here. New around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? He seems alright. Hey, why do you have to be so... you? As he told you, his parents skipped out on him? Shut up. It's true, they got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Hey, yeah, I'm only gonna say this one time. Throw the, throw the punch. Throw it. Don't. Talk. About. My family. Well, look who's going on a backbone now that has uh, the girls around. First his pops croaked. Then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. Throw the punch. Iggy took Throw a it. Step towards Luca. Get him. His Get her. His lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. Push her into the puddle. His fists clenched. Yeah, get her. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. 
but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Feck took a deep breath and thought. Time to bust out. No, no, I want the other one. <laughs> Tickle. Tickles. Tickles. Strange. I don't like either of these. These are both bad. Fine. Tickle. Well, time to bust out the tickles. Hey, Tish, want to see something cool? Yep. Check it. Beck lunged forward and began to tickle under Tish's arms. <laughs> what the? Tish, is he tickling you? Yep. Hey, yep. Uh, yep. Tears began to form in Tish's eyes as she gasped for breath between gales of laughter. Yep, hey, yep, hey, yep. Beck redoubled her <laughs> efforts until Tish finally had had enough. What just happened? She seems nice. Sorry for the interruption. I think uh, you were just threatening us. Iggy's eyes darted around, a realization dawning on his face that he was now outnumbered. Oh, he. I just remember. I have somewhere to be. Mm hmm. See you around, new kid. Iggy Push him into the green stuff. Back before making his escape. Oh. Whoa. What a little creep. Beck, I think you got a little ooze on your Beck hair. Shook the ooze out of her hair as best as she could. Is it bad? It depends. What are you feeling about having a more mature, refined look? Oh, God. I'm afraid that's the end of this part of the demo. Oh. That doesn't mean there isn't more to discover. Remember, each new charm you found has special power. Just look to the Chronicle. And don't forget to wishlist and follow to find more cool stuff. Most importantly, if you enjoyed the demo, please tell your friends. All right, we got to see it. What does... So I can't change... I can't change that one. All right, what's in deep? What was that one? Sorry about change. Okay, okay. Uh, I can't go. I can't cancel right now. Okay. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca and Matt, but change the. Okay, we know this one. It's um, okay. This is not ice. There, we just. I want to go see this one. Time to break, bust out the strange. Well, time to bust out the strange. All right, Luca. Yep. Little mud bath. What's he said? What he said? What's wrong with you? New kid. Are you uh, about to be... We're about to pound your friend. Beck stared in silence. The only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. It's weird when people don't talk. Yep. Stop being a weirdo. Hello, uh, are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense. Wackadoo's travel in packs, eh, dud? At the sight of Iggy taunting back, something in Luca snapped. Oh, oh, that punch. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. What's that mean? Rargh. Oh, yeah, Iggy's that's what we wanted. Were drenched Excellent. In the glowing ooze. I, f I feel like we hit something there. You jerk! My clothes are ruined! I'm Iggy's gonna... His voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I don't feel so good. Uh, health. Sorry, I just... <laughs> yep. Take that. Take I'm afraid that. that's the end. Okay. Remember, we got one more. Don't forget. We gained a new one. Oh, and he's still here. Or she's still here. You heard the disembodied narrator. That's it. <laughs> I want to see what, what happens as much as you do. If you think there's more, maybe pop that Chronicle thing open. Um, can we use the other one anywhere? Oh, we can do the struggle one. Well, okay. Let's, let's struggle. This is a story about struggle. Luca could hear a machine humming somewhere nearby. He felt around wildly, searching for something, anything that could help. 
His hands found a hard object, maybe a tile? He yanked it free, lifting the cold stone. Let me go! Luca swung the tile as hard as he could at the shape that still held fast to his leg. He heard the crack of glass as the stone hit the assailant's mask. With a muffled yelp, the hand let go. Luca was free and scrambled to the door. He never looked back once on the long run home. Chapter 3 Ah, uh, okay. Everything's fine. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Oh, Only the here. sound of silverware and... Then we're back here where we lie to our grandma. Okay, but there we go. There is Beacon Pines. Um, I I thought for sure I streamed this. Now that as I played it, this first that was like it was like really short when I played it before. And it's added a bunch of stuff in there. Anyway, fantastic. Uh, I will be eagerly awaiting the release of this one whenever it comes out. It's like Mad Libs, except you might accidentally get someone killed or completely alter a life. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what a, Winnie the Pooh meets Twin Peaks. Yeah. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out, but um, sometime this year. We'll certainly be checking this one out when it when it comes out for release. So, 